the wood stove certification process does not match reality by Noel Patansu. I have more than 35 years of fire testing, fire investigation forensics, and fire math modeling experience as a member of the American Standard for Testing and Materials, ASTM, E5 and E50 committees, I have access to and an understanding of much of the world's test standards and protocols. I have learned many lessons over these decades of research, testing, and development. The world has changed, technology has evolved, and we find ourselves at a crossroads. How did we get here? I often look at myself and ask, how did I get here? How can I recall the events that altered the course of my location and employment? Decisions were made by myself and others, each altering the course of my history. How did this occur for wood stoves? For wood stoves, the journey has been complex. Nearly 15% of the North American population uses a wood stove. They do so by choice because they enjoy the warmth and the process throughout the year. Air quality measurement uses technology to quantify fine particles in the air. Described as PM2.5, air quality regulators opine that wood stoves are a major contributor to PM2.5 concentrations, and they have developed restrictions to reduce the use of wood stoves when the air quality is measured with high levels of PM2.5. A wood stove burning in the Goldilocks zone produces minor levels of PM2.5. Flaming is better than smoldering. When the fuel is wet wood, the burning temperature is low or the wood smolders, the PM2.5 production increases. Flaming produces more heat and light with less particulates. Smoldering produces more particulates and carbon monoxide. Does the testing process represent a wood stove installed at a home in actual usage? No. We reviewed the test standards that are used to certify wood stoves, ASTM E2780 and E2515. Few attributes of the testing process would be found in a wood stove installed at a residence. For example, a wood stove installed at a residence does not sit on a scale to measure the weight of the stove and fuel. In addition, 99.9% .9 of users will not pull sample gases from the smoke in the chimney. They will not measure the mass of the fuel or do combustion gas or particle measurement. We don't think that these standards and test methods can be reproduced in the field as in a common residence and therefore are not representative of the real world. The EPA certification process is lengthy. One party stated, the process was eight months from start to finish. It is an understatement to say that this impacts business and product development. The test process pulls a sample from the exhaust through fiberglass filters, and then the filters are weighed on a laboratory scale. The timing of these gas sample times is now being debated. These test protocols are from the 1990s, but technology has advanced significantly since then. ASTM is slow to incorporate advancements within some groups. We can utilize technology in other ASTM test methodology, one example is ASTM D6216-20. Standard practice for opacity monitor manufacturers to certify conformance with design and 
performance specifications is a standard for manufacturers that produce opacity monitors. What do state and regional laws specify? Washington 20% for 6 minutes and the, the WAC code. Alaska 20% for 6 minutes. Michigan 20%. Ontario, Canada 20% for 6 minutes. Okay, we get it. The laws state 20% opacity for 6 consecutive minutes of any hour. Is this information collected in the data of the EPA certification testing process? To answer that question, we evaluated the following test standards used for EPA wood certification process. ASTM E2515, Determination of Particle Matter Emissions, Collected by a Dilution Tunnel, and ASTM E2780, Determining Particulate Matter Emissions from Wood Heaters. After searching these two test standards, we found they do not require collection of opacity data. In fact, the words opacity and transmission are not present in these standards at all. Diesel truck emissions from 1991 and newer are limited to 40% opacity by law, California Air Resource Board. Newer trucks are subject to lower opacity figures. We are not able to find wood stoves currently offered for sale that provide this measurement as a feature or laboratory data file. None of the test standards working with wood stove certification that we have reviewed have an opacity record. Is opacity measured in other test standards? Yes. The following test methods are more than 20 years old and use an incandescent light source and photoresistor. ASTM E84 Steiner Tunnel, developed in 1944. ASTM E662 The Smoke Density Chamber. ASTM E906 Rate of Heat and Smoke Release Rate Test Method. ASTM E1354 Cone Calorimeter, uses a laser and a photosensor. There are many more examples. The law specifies opacity as the criterion for compliance, yet you can still purchase a certified wood stove, have it installed, and be out of compliance with the law on the first burn in the stove. And that's the subject of this article. The certification process for wood manufacturers has not evolved along the same course as state or regional laws. This is evident in that the testing process does not require opacity information to be collected. Many test laboratories have knowledgeable and professional personnel, and they may collect this information. However, they are not required to produce the test results in test reports we should ask for this information from labs in the future. How does ASTM fit into this process? ASTM, American Standard for Testing and Materials, Test, me test methods describe the apparatus and procedures, but these standards often do not specify the pass-fail criteria. Another regulatory entity, such as ICBO, International Council of Building Officials, or EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, specifies the test protocol and the pass-fail criteria, or as one stated, meets the acceptance criteria. ASTM is great at describing what to build and what to measure. However, another separate agency often says what meets or does not meet the acceptance criteria of the test method. 
efficiency tests may require laboratory for controlled conditions and test equipment as well as quality control. Emissions tests are possible for any wood stove installation. Under the current EPA certification program, a wood stove that has met the acceptance criteria and produces more than 20% opacity for more than six minutes on the first fire can exceed the limits of the law and be subject to fines. We have the technology to measure opacity out in the field. Lab the lab the laboratories are only testing the wood stove appliance. An installed wood stove has hand tools, an air inlet path, chimney, and a cap that are all factors in the emission performance, yet they are not part of the current certification process. This is similar to putting a vehicle on rollers and testing the vehicle's emissions a compromise at best. Any installed wood stove should be able to be tested for emission compliance with real-time results. Supporting documents. To make this paper we reviewed the Nescom produced white paper where they had the role of a third party agency and criticized the EPA wood stove certification process, record keeping, non reproducible results, and questionable laboratory measurements. The paper described a test process that is cumbersome, complex, and does not represent a normal wood stove room heater installed in a residence. I am not surprised that a third party would run a test on the same appliance and get different results. IEA, Bioenergy Advanced Test Methods for Wood Stove, describes the test standards used worldwide. A search through these white papers and test methods methods found no mention of opacity, light transmission, or optical density. Why are regional laws universally specific, specific while these test standards exclude the subject matter? Solution. The solution to this problem is quite clear manufacturers need a short path to certification. Wood stove manufacturers need to have opacity generation values for their wood stove models. Using statistics, only a sample set of existing wood stoves would need to be tested to prepare confidence values for larger population. The components to measure the opacity of emissions are currently being used in diesel emissions, industry stack emissions, and ASTM test methods. A beam of light, optics, light sensor, and analysis software are all conventional off-the-shelf systems. Digital light sensors are highly sensitive to color changes in the light or small changes in the amount of light that strikes the sensor. Opacity emissions monitoring would be instantaneous. Real-time results could be sent to your phone and a control box or stored in the cloud to make adjustments to the combustion air or other controls. This is the 21st century. We can bring wood stoves into a new category that's clean burning and renewable. We should not hold back on the technology advancement of wood stove combustion. We recommend using opacity measurement with a 20% limit and 6 minutes of consecutive time as a target. There are many resources in combustion monitoring in diesel engines and industry stacks. This technology would translate well to residential wood heaters. Smokeless chimney, warm homes, and clean air for everyone. www.smokelesschimney.com